Hi, welcome to the National Critics' Choice uh, Online News. And today we have Mr. James Osman. He's the editor in chief for Severe Magazine in the United States, and also the judge for Bravo Talks Chef. Um, Mr. James, thank you for joining us here at the National Critics' Choice. Uh, could you give us some uh, three key advice for you know for upcoming aspiring journalists, uh, especially if they want to pursue you know in a career as a food journalist? Um, well, for a very long time to come. Well, advice number one, number two, number three, write, write, write. Write passionately, write as though it's the most important thing in the world to you. Don't worry about the, the media where your writing appears. It can be on your own personal blog. It can be on the website of another company, of a, an established magazine. It can be in a newspaper. It can be in a magazine. It can be in your journal. But write, write, write. That is the thing that will make you a better writer and that will ultimately get you more work as a writer. And, and what, were, what was your three key success story when you first took over as the editor in chief of Suburb Magazine? Um, what other changes did you make to make Suburb Magazine appealing? You know, I, I honestly didn't really make that many changes when I took over uh, about seven years ago. Instead, um, Instead, really, what I what I strived, strove to do, strive to do in the beginning, and also continue to strive to do, is basically celebrate the essence of subver, which is a very, very pure idea, and that is simply telling the story of people all around the world through what they eat. It's a very, very pure, wonderful kind of story that you'll find in every aspect of what we do, every article we publish, both in print and digitally. We're always hungry for human stories, big, emotional, dramatic, interesting stories that tell us about different people. We're not necessarily interested in knowing about the most fabulous or most trendy restaurant unless there's a really interesting human story behind it. Now, you're a strong advocate for street food, and especially here in Asia and Singapore, Malaysia, and yes. so forth. Uh, tell us, what do you see the future of street food in you know uh, around the world, including Asia? I think that street food will naturally continue to thrive. I think that it is an affordable and often very, very delightful way of eating, spontaneously eating. Uh, you don't have to make reservations. You don't have to like spend a lot of money. It's there, it's easy, it's delicious. I think that street food will continue to thrive in Southeast Asia. How important is the World Street Food Congress uh, that's now been start here in Singapore? And you, as, a, as one of the council members, uh, what do you see ahead for the next five years? I think it is very important because I think that in the past, the notion of street food has almost been kind of one of... Um, by by those who work in the particular business and I, I guess I mean this in a very generally speaking sort of way almost a bit ashamed of, uh, of, 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 what, of what they do um, in fact street food cooks when they're good are real true artists and I think that basically the Congress what its mission is now and within the next five years is to formalize how to celebrate that, this artisanship that's out there all around the world on the street from street food vendors. Now, what kind of, uh, of future are we going to see, especially the mainstream and, and the non-mainstream uh, media, uh, you know, how, how are they going to pronounce, uh, you know, especially alongside with social media? Is social media going to play a bigger and very important role? I, I, I think it absolutely will, and I think that, some, it, that it's an aspect that's been brought up here at the Congress a couple of times. How wonderfully, fantastically easy it is to post on Facebook some update of what a particular street food vendor has on offer, or through Twitter, or through or through uh, mass email lists. Social media can be an amazing tool to promote, to get the word out. The thing, however, that street food vendors all around the world must continue to do is make really excellent food. All the social and media in the world won't make a dish taste better than it in fact actually is. And will social media overtake the traditional media and is the traditional media threatened uh, by, by social media? I don't think so. I think there will 
at least in our lifetimes, be a place for long-form media that's not going to expire anytime soon. Well, once again, uh, Mr. James Austin, thank you for joining us here at the Natural Business Voice. And folks, please do uh, to subscribe to Sephora Magazine if you get uh, have the <laughs> yes. time. Uh, and, uh, and, and visit Sephora.com. That's too. right. Visit <laughs> Sephora.com. And once again, I'm Robin Steinberg. Thank you for joining me here at the Natural Business Voice. Have a good week ahead.